So the plan is to gather all the driftwood, make a pyre nearby. We lay Dad atop of it, set them alight, and the people on our road from our church, they come on down, gather round, and we all just... What's going on? Well, we're breathing in Dad. Because he's smoke by this point, isn't he? Solid into liquid into gas. Remember that from school? Dad's the solid. Don't know what the liquid is. Uh, maybe the sea. But the smoke is the gas. Smoke with bits of Dad. Microscopic. Air particles. Ash. Sort of be like comforting. Like warm, all hot on your chest. Wearing a scarf. You know, having a little whiskey. I'll get someone on the music. Uh, there's a man with a guitar by the Hoods once a week. The Hoods are new. The man's new too, but he's also pretty old. Uh, the songs are even older. Pub closed down, but we'll pick up some tinnies. Kick off at dusk. Fire goes till dawn. We are not doing any of that. I mean, I'd have to get a permit. A permit for what? The music. The bonfire, alcoholic beverages in a public location. The human roasting. Don't say roasting. It's not like I'm going to eat them. Thanks for the clarification. Big pie like that, mind. Some sausages on the side. Tiny. Or people burn bodies all the time. Cremation. Exactly. Proper. Private. Not a barbecue on the beach. It's not a barbecue. Cooking dad on an open flame. Might smell a little meaty. Getting everywhere. In our clothes, choking. But one, I'm getting everywhere. No, we don't. All along the coastline. Like an oil spill. It's not pollution. Why are we... It's not like it matters. Why not? Because he's not actually dead yet. <laughs> is he? Unless this is a really weird way of breaking it to me. <laughs> Hi, by the way. Hi. Sleeping when I left him. Sarah said she'd text if he wakes. Could have met me at the station. Could have met us at the house. Who's Sarah? The nurse. Do you even get signal out here? A pyre can be a signal. What if it's urgent? In Viking times, they'd signal out shanties to let the others know the enemy was coming. Well, the enemy's arrived and he's all checked in. Is it nice, then? Is what nice? The flat. It's above a shop that's getting all cleared out. Didn't say that on the app. That's why it was cheap. But they start work at, like, five in the morning. Which shop is it? Junk shop. Not been oh, a... Sorry? Not been a shop for a while. What is it now, then? Just junk. Call it different names when it's by the sea, though. Flotsam, Jetsam, something and something. Are those the technical terms? One of the guys I play with online, Gibbo. Do you know Gibbo? I do not know Gibbo. Does maritime law. Has to divvy up stuff if it's valuable. Well, it isn't. Well, it can be. I mean this stuff. You can see it through the window. Cheap mugs, badly printed T-shirts. Saw a harpoon in there once, but they didn't let me buy it. Need a permit for that, too. <laughs> Look nice. Why do you want a harpoon? Your holiday flat. Looked online, looked nice. It's not a holiday. Nobody holidays out here. The Victorians did. And how's that working out for them? Uh, the carousels, donkey rides, had them all along the beach here. And they'd buy those mugs and t-shirts and all. The Victorians. Souvenirs. No, they didn't. Yeah, they did. Came for the sea air. Does wonders for your health. Well, I know the NHS is fucked, but I hope they've got down something stronger than this. Morphine. En suite. What? Place you're renting. Got an en suite? What are you on about? Made the back room his bedroom so he didn't have to climb the stairs. And the toilet's just off from it. So we've got an en suite too. Even had a new bed sent through. Electric. Moves up and down. Like a deck chair. Like a very sad deck chair. How much did that cost? Do you need me to cover it? Uh, they don't need it. The trust. Have to give it back when he's gone. So you're going to pop round? You can come see the bed. Not here to see the bed. Yeah, but you are here. And there's so much, uh, I don't know. Got a mouthful of words and they're all trying to scuttle out at the same time and it's just blah. All right, blah to you too.
Oh, we're heading over now, then. Let me know when suits. I'll be swinging by the chippy. I could get in one half lot or two. I can always eat before. Why eat before? Eat with us. <laughs> that won't be eating. Watching. That won't be watching. Is he going to make it through the night? It's just a... I don't know if I can see him now. Like, now, now, I mean. Doesn't have to be now, now. On my hours break, Sarah hasn't texted. I can help you settle in till then. I'm not going to settle. We'll go get a lemon top. I'm not here for ice cream. I always get a lemon top when it's just me out here. Well, it isn't just you, is it? Nice to take a moment, like meditating, then. Do you do yoga? I do do yoga. Three times a week, actually. It's just like that, then. You having a Mr. Whippy is not like me doing yoga. <laughs> yeah, it is. No, it isn't. Yeah, it is. How the fuck are you eating it, then? Get me one and I'll demonstrate. We are not getting ice cream. We can walk, then. Reminisce. Do you remember when we set up camp in the dunes there? We were looking for the treasure. X marks the spot. And we wandered all along the beach, and the moon set the sea on fire. And there was all that wood that I thought it must have been from an ancient watchtower where the Saxons stood their ground. But you said someone had dumped the load of old dead. I don't remember any of that, no. Well, we never figured out how old it was, though. <coughs> Did Vikings have verandas? They were very forward thinking. May have even had en-suites. Do you need to freshen up? Is that why you... Uh... Why I'm what? You've been travelling all day? Yeah, I have. And how does he look? <clears throat> old. Yeah, old. Small. Less swollen than he has been. Swollen? Yeah, he was swelling before. Edema. It's a build-up of... It's called interstitial fluid because of his heart, and the swelling puts a lot of pressure on his joints, his organs. That's why they got him the bed. They've reduced his sodium intake. That's a cause of it. Salt retains water, but he's dangerously low on sodium as it is, so this is why he won't have long. Are you breathing in, Dad? Too soon, man. I'm trying not to have a panic attack. Oh, really? It's fine. It's fine. We can go somewhere calm if you'd like. Though it's calm out here. And I don't want to be out here. St. Cuthbert's then. What? The church. You can meet the priest. I don't want to meet the priest. But he's the guy who'll do the thing. What? Set Dad on fire. I haven't run that bit past him yet. Oh. <laughs> Father Peter. He's a young guy. Only been here a few years. He's really nice. Round all the time. I think he'd be your type. Excuse me? Is that a weird thing to say? Yeah. Like if they could marry. Like if they were better about the gays. I do raise that point occasionally. Are you trying to set me up with a priest? Would it be like a film? A porn film? A rom-com. <laughs> He's really cool. He plays online with me and Gibble. What is it you all play? It's a shooty thing. Should a priest be doing shooty things? Oh, yeah. They used to have warrior monks all along the coast. Men of God fending off the Vikings. Thinking about it now, the Vikings didn't have en suites. Reckon they just squatted in a little Can we just, did it This isn't what we should be talking Why about. Not? Can we get off the beach? You're coming back with me then? No, I just need the sand. I can feel me paws clogging up. It's gross out here. It's always gross. The view's just busy. There's nothing out here. Ships, turbines, and look at those chimneys. What are they spitting out? Nothing. Steelworks hasn't run for years, knocking it all down. All right. Good. Yeah, not good. I should kind of stay out here. Sorry. Got to be with Dad or got to be out here? Why? See when the mariner comes. The mariner? You haven't seen him, have you? Need to get my eyes tested. I have not seen the mariner. The wreck? Should be in that direction. Tide's not right to see it. Is this a joke? Nah. 
that us is to keep a lookout. We'll know when we see a moon tweet. A distinctive silhouette. I'm not doing this. It's the antler. It's not funny. Shards of wood jutting out of his head. We should go to a cafe instead. Do you not remember? Coffee shop overlooking the sea. Why are you being weird about this? Why am I being weird? I have not seen the mariner. I will never see the mariner. But the night of apple fish. Just stop it. Making up stuff. So, do they have anywhere that makes a proper coffee? Tiny. The calf. Oh, the calf. Don't know if they do a proper coffee, but they do a proper breakfast. If it's an all-day breakfast. It is. Uh, if they serve it with chips. They do. It's not a proper breakfast. <laughs> I'll still treat you to one, though. Come on. I don't want to go to the calf. Sorry for snapping just now. Do you remember when we thought we found a message from a castaway, but it turned out to be a wet wipe stuck in a Coke bottle? No. Seriously? I really remember that as well. Why would you want to? Because that's what I remember. Why don't you? That's not on me, that's on you. Where else can we go? I am trying to reminisce. Reconnect? <laughs> you have to meet me halfway. I have met you more than halfway. I live in bloody Manchester. I'm standing on the beach at the edge of the North Sea. I've come all this way. You still need to come a little further. You put the flat on the front. OK, but you have to walk past ours to get there. You don't even knock on the door. You're not one to say goodbye to him. I need to do it properly. And what way is properly? On me own terms, in me own time. He doesn't have your time. I just know that if I, if that were me back there and I was swelling up and shrinking down or whatever he's doing, I wouldn't want me there either. When it isn't you back there? I know it isn't. But you are a lot alike. What the fuck do you mean by that? You both have en suites. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. I am here. And yes, I do not want to be. Just getting him. Trains are bloody shocking these days. <laughs> I've had to take time off work. The lease is coming up on one of our venues, which is stressful. You didn't say how's work, but that's what I would have said if you did. I sound like a dick. I am a dick. But I'm struggling. I feel like a lot is weighing me down and it's getting heavier and heavier and I'm gonna, I don't know, sink into the sand. Wrong shoes for the beach, that is. Yeah, yeah. Should have worn a hazmat suit. Read all about it. Read about what? Scrolling through local news stories on the way here, reminding myself of what I'm letting myself in yeah, for. Read about what? The bloody, you know, poison in the sea. Eh? The free port. That's why it's always gross, I reckon. Feel my socks dissolving. What have your socks got to do with the free port? The dead stuff washing up. Shellfish, razor clams all along the coast. Does it doesn't matter? Is that what you're on about? It was an algae bloom. A what? An algae bloom? The government said. Oh, the government said. It's a thing that happens in the sea. Just a one off, naturally occurring, bumps everything off. You know, nature, things die. Thank you, David Attenborough. The free port's not a. I don't want to get into it now. Do we even know what a free port is? Yeah. Or I can. Look it up if you want the definition. It's a decent thing for the area. That's why they're clearing the steelwork site. We can get a little closer. If it's a decent go. thing, why are there protests around about those two? The news doesn't tell you everything. It's a good story. Oh, and this is a land that's swimming in good stories, including pornos with priests. Well, he's coming over tonight. Is that meant to tempt me over? Does it? <laughs> I have a boyfriend, actually. Oh. Yeah. A long term. I still don't know what to call him. Do you not know his name? Of course I know his name. Michael. And how long have you been with Michael? I should check in with him tonight. Let him know I'm. So I can leave you and your priest to play a little game. Oh, we're not gonna. I mean, it's online multiplayer, so we couldn't play couch co op anyway. Plus. Gibbo is busy with a shipping thing in Saudi Arabia, so the bros can't unite. The bros? But the priest is coming to say a few <laughs> prayers. Is that what you... 
the bros. Maybe she better not right. Strong possibility. So it would be good if you'd come. Reconciliation. Part of the words Peter was telling me All about right. this. All right, so the sexy priest comes over, says a couple of words, and Dad and I bury the hatchet? Yeah. Yeah, no, doesn't work like that. But that's how it needs to work tonight. I can't just undermine. Why not? Why not? Lie. Excuse me? Lie. Tell Dad what he needs to hear. He's not even going to hear you. Not really. He is drifting in and out. So why say it? Because it needs to be said. I'm not going to lie to him, because then I'd be just as bad as him. So why did you come? Why did you come? I don't know. To see you? Okay. Okay, well, you do it for me. Tiny. I'm sorry you've taken time off where. I have two. This hour, this miniature hour, his work is that. I'm his carer. And I have cared for him full time for four years. So I care what happens to him. I care that you're there tonight. I care that you say whatever he needs to hear, whether he hears you or not. I care that you put him out of his misery. I need you to do something for me and then I'll do something for you. All right? All right. I need you to tell me that it is not my last chance, that it is not now or never, and then I'll come. Why? Don't ask me why. So you want me to lie too? Is it a lie? It is now or never, Mark. But maybe it's not now, now. Dad told me to look out for him. The mariner. He still needs to rise from the sea. Climb from his wreck. Wander along the beach here, a soggy darkness. Stumble along the front. March to our home. Sit by the bed. Sit by Dad. Maybe prop him up for the end. And then the mariner will carry his soul back to his ship. So you've got till then. And you really believe that? You need to believe that too. Tonight. Tonight? Yeah. You'll come and see Dad? Yep. You'll come and see him? See him in his brand new bed, get there before the bloody man out of the sea, yeah? Yeah. I just need to head back to the flat first, sort out some stuff, then I'll... Then I'll... Yeah, let's go back. No, I need to take a piss first. Do we need a permit for that? Want to email and ask? Dig a little hole like a Viking? I'll keep watch. Look at all the crabs. Saw a couple of them twitching back there. Try to turn them over with a stick. Help them back on their way. Didn't work. Weird this should happen at the same time, right? Must have been. Maybe at the very same moment. 
Father Peter came back when I called, brought a bottle of wine, didn't nick it from the church, reckon that's frowned upon, and we sat and had a drink in the front room. He let me reminisce, and it was nice. I kept going into the back room there, check on Dad, make sure he was peaceful. And of course he was. Of course he was. So maybe that was more for me, my peace, seeing him like that. It was so quiet, though. So empty. At one point, I even put on, like, a seascape. One of those videos, 10 hours of, not to watch, just to listen. Had it playing on the phone, filling up the air. Why did I do that? I can normally hear the sea from his room. Wasn't there last night. But it must have been here, this bad tide. And Peter got quite drunk, and there were lots of funny stories. And I told some about you too, but I was probably remembering them all wrong again. And then we said a couple more prayers. And then the priest went home and he logged online. We did this campaign in the mountains where you have to take out a base full of zombies. <laughs> and I felt more normal again. And less normal too. But you don't have to worry about not being there. Because in the end, it was calm. I don't know what to say. He wouldn't have known I was there. I'm sorry. I did. Sorry, I couldn't. Last night just got away from me. And... What do you need me to do? What's the plan? How do you think crabs mourn their dead? What? I reckon a procession. Not like a parade, a much more solemn thing. Tiny. But they all walk sideways, don't they? <laughs> so they can't look back. Not ideal for a eulogy. Maybe we should pick them up. The crabs? Yeah. I'm not picking up dead crabs. It needs to be done. Come on. What do you need me to do about it? Don't, don't touch them. I'll grab another stick. Not even with a stick, mate. But this is all wrong. This is not our priority. I need to speak to Ronnie. Who's Ronnie? The undertaker. He picked up Dad this morning. Offices in town, but he said he'd come back, meet me out here. Then he'd get me something from the calf. Maybe he can deal with this bad tide as well. If he's dealing with Dad, he's not dealing with this lot. Uh, but it's all connected, isn't it? Dad took his last breath. Then all this death. I should be at this meeting if you're not in the right frame of mind for it. It's not a meeting. Whatever you want to call it. But conversation, arrangement. It's OK. No, it's not OK. I need to do it alone. Are you angry with me? This can be about what I did or didn't do. We put that to one side. This is about Dad. But it isn't about Dad. See, and Ronnie, it's a personal matter. A personal matter? Yep. You are speaking to the Undertaker the morning after Dad is... But it's not about Dad. It's not about Dad. His death isn't going to feature in the conversation? It'll feature. He'll say something nice. He's a good man. His son is too. One of the bros, actually. Donnie. Ronnie and Donnie? Ronnie and Donnie. What's the man called? Connie? She passed away in lockdown. Oh. <laughs> right. You'd have liked that. Called Bonnie. <laughs> <laughs> Please, Ma, I won't be long. Then what do I do? I haven't registered the death yet. Yeah. Yeah. Like, on an emotional level, though. No, it's a form. <laughs> All right, well, I can do that. I'll forge you the medical certificate. Do I do it online? Don't think so. Register office is town centre unless it's... I don't know. But on it. I'm on it. And after you've met this Ronnie... What's that even short for? Ronald? Ronaldo? I think just Ron. You come to my flat, there's a really big table. We sit around, draw up a list, everything that needs to do it. Action stations. Now, I'll meet you out here as well. On the beach. On the beach. With 
all this. Yeah. Uh, but if the paperwork and the weather's turning. See, yeah. It's good for us. All right, well, we'll see. Don't touch that stuff. I'm not. Thought you were going into town. Toxic. Been and gone. It's not toxic. You want to bet? You've been and gone. Registered the death. Had to pay for it. Don't mind. Surprised. I'm happy to pay for the rest of it too. I'll need to. I picked up a leaflet for you. Do you realise your carence allowance is going to get cut off? Yeah. Not that it was much to begin with. Yeah. But I can handle it. Got myself a guide online. Checklist. Death admin. Not that they call it that. Have you contacted the banks yet? The insurance people did even have insurance. Utilities, solicitors, I'll need you to gather up all his important documents, his IDs. I'm not trying to overwhelm you, but this is where I step up, see? Basically, my job, organising venues, managing events. I can sort out everything. I just need you digging around for bank statements, deeds, because you have access to the property and you'll know where everything is, I'm guessing. He owns the house, yeah? Bought it back when they were all like a pound. If this is too much for you, you just have to say. I met Ronnie coming off the beach. Spoke to him briefly about arrangements. Introduced myself, thanked him. Turns out, I knew his wife. We both did. She was the receptionist at our school, big frizzy hair. May have left by the time you... You're right, you've been a bit... Yeah. I get it. So, is that what you're asking him about? Arrangements? No. All right. You really want to know? All he is. He's never seen anything like this before. This bad tide. So, he was drawing me a map. A map? Well, I was drawing it. To the HMS side? What? The wreck. When the tide is right, you can see it off the coast. No, I know what it is. It isn't called that. It's called what? The HMS Stan. I'm not well, sure Well, it's pretty far we... out, and Dad always said that it was too dangerous to reach. But Ronnie knows the route, see? What is this? What are you doing? Because Dad said that Ronnie said that his dad took him out there once. Is this some kind of... Cooking? It was a while back, when Ronnie's dad was still working on the docks. But he was a little broke, and he needed to keep his family warm. So he waited until the tide was right. And I don't just mean low. Because it needs to be low, but it needs to be something else as well. Uncanny, like. And he took a trolley from Herons, and he and his son went at the dead of night, and they found a path through the rock pools and the quicksand. Oh, they were going to strip the hull for firewood, anything that was left. But when they get there, to the wreck, to that half-formed thing creaking in the sand. Ronnie says how dark it is. How spooky. And as they start to wander through the bowels of the ship, they see all these bodies held up in barrels like they're asleep. And they'll recognize them. Figures of all the villagers who've passed. No, not figures. Souls. But there's someone else who walks among them. Someone. Something. And Ronnie's dad, he knows that once he's trespassing, so he leaves the trolley. He said he was going to take it back, but he just leaves it there. And he grabs his son, and out they run and run and run. The winter was pretty cold that year. Yet they never felt as cold as they did that night. But it turns out Ronnie doesn't remember any of that. Right. And this is something Dad told you. Yeah. Ronnie doesn't know anything about it. Yeah. So what might we conclude from this? That Ronnie's forgotten. Oh. Which would make sense. 
because you've forgotten loads of stuff too. Maybe it's the beach. See, the bloom, the algae bloom. Killed the crabs, released spores or things that make you forget. Because if fish is good for the brain, then bad fish is good for the bad brain. Make the brain bad. Are you having a stroke? This is science. You're the one with the bad brain huffing all this stuff. That, it isn't algae, it smells nothing like algae. Well, and you know what algae smells like? This is obviously chemical. Where from? Where from? This is what I was saying before. They are dredging the mouth of the teas, making it bigger for the new ships they want coming in. And all the old crap they used to dump from ICI and factories like that, it's getting all churned up when they deep on the river. Sorry, bank. what what makes you the expert? Yeah. Yes, we've had enough of them, haven't we? What, you're back less than a day and suddenly you've got a degree in river geography? Oh, says the fucking marine biologist fucking fish professor. But I actually live here. Then maybe I've got some perspective on things. I looked up the definition for you, by the way. Free port? Don't bother. It is a port where goods are exempt from cost and duty. A port that is open to all. I said don't bother. It won't be open to all, though, will it, because of this bloody government? Stop, Matt. Just... I'm stopping... I'm stopping. Bury your head in the sand, not literally, mind, it's disgusting. If you're such an expert, you draw the map. To the Freeport. To the HMS style. I told you. Go on. X marks the spot. What's this got to do with anything? I need to work out the route you should have took. Who should have took? The mariner. Work out what went wrong. This is why I didn't want you involved. I didn't want you freaking out. But the mariner didn't come. All right. Last night, I should have seen him, felt him walking across the sand, his antlers twisting, reaching up to the moon, but there wasn't anything. Yeah. Okay, never mind. My theory is he couldn't reach the beach. That's why I wanted the map to check. Because the wreck comes up at certain times, certain tides, but just when the way is clear, bam, crab tsunami. Maybe he... Forgot to come if everyone's forgetting things. You think? No, Tiny. I think he's overwhelmed. The mariner. All this death. Death is overwhelming. And some of us deal with it better than others. Like if he has to carry all the souls of the dead, if he takes them back to his ship one by one, he'd be knackered with this lot, wouldn't he? How many crab souls do you reckon he could carry? He still has the trolley from Herons, doesn't he? Tiny, are you okay? Forget about the man. Yeah. I know what I've got to do. Got to bury all the crabs. Tiny. But make his job easier for him, dig a little hole, clear the way. Okay, so this story of the mariner carry all the souls of the dead. Yeah. You do know it's not real. Historical fact. No. Eyewitness accounts. None of those either. I know you look at the world a little differently, mate. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> but you don't actually believe a zombie from the sea comes and collects dead people from Seton Carew. Uh, I wouldn't call him a zombie. I have to shoot those in my game, I'd feel bad. But do you actually believe that? Local legend? So local, you're the only one who knows about it. But you know about it too. But did Ronnie have a clue what you're on about, did he? Because it sounds like he didn't. Maybe it's a family secret then. Um, family secrets are like cake recipes. Or the fact that your mum's shacked up with your uncle and your brother's not really your brother. <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> it's just an example. The Mariner's not a legend, Tiny. It's not a secret. It's just a lie, a bedtime story, if I'm feeling kind. But I'm not feeling kind, because that's all Dad ever told, isn't it? Lies on a sliding scale from the little things to the big. What lies did he tell? Other than this one. Go on. What lies? What lies? You can't remember any of the good stuff, so if you only remember the bad, maybe you're lying too. You believed in the mariner last night, at least. No, I didn't. When I said, that's why you still had time. And whatever you say, I have to believe that you believed. That you really thought it wasn't the end. Because if you didn't, then you still didn't come. It's been a long day for you. You should lie down. If it's weird going back to the house, there's a spare room in the flat. I'll text you the code. Stay as long as you like. What are you going to do? I am going to go phone Michael. And then I'm going to go calm down.
I could bring you a shovel, maybe even a sleeping bag. Like, I think it's ridiculous. I'm already freezing my balls off. But if you need to stay out here, if this is something you need to do, I understand. Do you? No, but apparently we all have a process and we should make space for that kind of thing. That's what your priest said anyway. You met him? I went to church and I didn't set on fire as I walked through the doors. You really think that's my type? I'd eat him alive. <laughs> I did like his glasses though. And he was way more, like he was young and he was religious. Yeah, he's a priest. But he was wise. Who the fuck my age is wise? You knew Dad as the storyteller. The guy with the twinkle, so that's what you have to mourn. I'm still not sure how the crabs factor into that, but that's okay, don't explain it. You do you, as long as you wash your hands afterwards. <laughs> we both let each other do our own thing. So, with that in mind, I'd like to organize the, the it's, that's me skill set, events. I'm good at this kind of thing. The funeral? Yeah. That's something I discussed with the sexy priest as well. To help you, to make it up to you. Also, because I really don't think we should burn down on a pyre. <laughs> yeah. That was a tough sell with Father Peter. It's fine. Good. Because I already got back in touch with Ronnie. I'm meeting him for a drink tonight. The social pub, because you lot don't have a decent pub, apparently. And the priest was asking stuff about prayer cards and flowers. I'm just going to make some gut decisions, unless you have suggestions. I'm thinking minimal, but I don't want that to come off as cheap. Dad knew we couldn't afford a big send-off. Well, I could. I could afford to spend all the money I like, money I made by getting out of here. He wouldn't want that, though. Wouldn't want that kind of display. Never one for big, you know, not very affectionate. What do you mean by that? What do you mean? What do you mean? You know what I mean, because he wasn't very... Affectionate? Yeah. Kiss me. What? Kiss me. Fuck off. No, I'm like on the mouth. I'm not kissing you on the cheek. I'm not kissing you on the cheek. Blow me a kiss then. Sign a text with an X. What are you trying to prove? That you're not very affectionate either. So don't use it as a stick to beat him with. You're just as bad as him. Whoa. Just saying. Even if I was, I'd have every right to, to beat him with a stick. That wasn't his style, was it? More of a back of the hand man. He didn't hit you. Am I lying again? Look, you're covered in sand and gunk and you're already sick. You've done your thing. You've laid your fucking crabs to rest. And now you think the mariner will come? He's not real, tiny. And even if he was, Dad is gone. He's already gone. Not all of him. I can feel it. If you are trying to tell me he's fucking restless. No. Not in a way you'd like understand. Don't take this the wrong way, Mark, but you've stopped seeing the magic of this place. I'll take that as a compliment. I am going to wait out the night. Keep watch. Suit yourself. Stupid, but suit yourself. Will you get us a blanket no, or...? No, I'm not supporting this. I'll see you in the morning. And then there's work to be done. Everything was shifting. You weren't. Chop, chop, off the beach, things to do. Take it you didn't see anybody last night? Margot, just now. Who's Margot? She's the lady who walks a dog. There's a few of those around. Yeah, but this dog died a couple of years ago, so she drags around an empty lead and throws a stick at passers-by. <laughs> what? 
So sad. I'm not even got just get another dog. Don't think she can afford it. Good for her. I meant dead men from the sea. You didn't see any of those, did you? Anyway, there are people coming now, important people, so let's get out of their way. Who's coming? There are three of them. Someone got them in from Northumbria University, taking samples. I was talking to them in the cafe. You were in the car. All right. Turns out I do like their breakfasts. They think it's pyridine, which is poison. In the breakfast? In the sea. <laughs> poison? In the crabs, in the sea, yeah. It definitely wasn't an algae bloom. I asked them about that. Do you know how rare that would be up here? In the freezing North Sea in November. <laughs> it's pollution, mate, from the dredging, the free port. So there they are, building back better and massacring all marine life in the process. You don't have to be so smug about it. I'm just saying I was right. And you're so happy about that? I'm not happy about anything. Well, I don't think you're miserable enough. Hey. The free port of Brexit thing, that's what you're not saying. So? So you didn't vote for it and you feel smug about that. So let's punish the people who did. Let's spike the water. Let's make them suffer. All right, I'm not doing this politics on the beach. Spike the water. It is poison. Oh, no, 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 no. Tiny. No, I've done it wrong. I, I've done it wrong. Why? Dave, the crops are full of poison. Oh, no, 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 no. I've buried them. I've driven the poison further stop in. Stop it. Stop it. Should have burned them. Should have built that pyre after all. Because this is why it didn't come again. Poison's in there now. Trent's getting sick. Oh, I got in a way. Tiny. Maybe I'm rotten too. Fingers tingling. You need to calm down. Yeah. Yeah. What the heck are you doing? Need to take a moment. Tiny. Ice cream yoga. Unbelievable. Yeah. That's good. You want to lick? No, I bloody don't. Feeling better then? Not really. I uh, messed it up. No, you haven't. I've made it worse, and now the mariner will never come. He was never gonna come, mate. Do you not remember the night I proved him wrong? Who wrong? The mariner? Dad. About your... HMS Stag. Years ago now. I went to the library, but that's not around anymore. I went to the library did my own research. Thought I was being clever. Researching the shipwrecks in the local area. Thought he'd be proud, whatever. And there were a few boats that went by that name, but none that sailed around here. And I said this to Dad, asked if he might be mistaken, confused. And he laughed at me. And you laugh at me as well. Called me an idiot. No. Nope. Called me a fag, actually. And you did too. The next day, the next day, he leaves the house, goes for a walk, and finds some antlers on the beach. And looking back, it was clearly just a piece of twisted driftwood, but to him, they're proof. Antlers, stag, ah, this must be from the figurehead of the ship. So, Mark's wrong, of course he's wrong, he's always been wrong. Such a petty. Antlers. That was a lie. That was an algae bloom. And it's funny that the most minor ones like that stick in my head. I do forget stuff. I forget how mad our childhood was. Do you remember when he said he had a job in Glasgow, that's why he had to leave us for three weeks? I got those fish and chips every night till the money ran out. Oh, do you remember when he said man was coming back? You heard from her. Guessing we're not inviting her to the funeral then. Tell you what, I could give one head of a eulogy. Did I really call you that? 
Maybe you want to write something instead. You can use my laptop. I'm not bringing it out here, though. You can follow me back, get you some food, a shower. I'm so sorry. It's fine. Forgotten all about it. You haven't. I haven't. I lie, Dad lies, and you know what? The government lies too. Whoopty doo. We need to get out of their way. Let them take the samples, prove it's poison, prove the area's fucked, and that's not your fault. We don't prove anything by sticking around. There's nothing out here, Tiny. No ice cream, no dogs, no bloody mariner. We have just got to move on. Got to move on. I didn't know you were out and about. I was keeping out the flat for you. I didn't want to disturb. I've been closing an account to the sound of arcades. Two peas being shoved up a shelf. More than Dad ever had. They're gonna, they're gonna need the bed back. The one they gave you? Trust? Can you sort that everything else? I've got everything else. I just don't want to... I'll leave them a set of keys. They can sort it out themselves. And neighbours, obscure cousins, friends, you had any? You can send me some names and I'll put them on. Well, I don't know what else to call it. Guest list, event of the year, open bar. We're not doing an open bar. <laughs> you know who volunteered to help run it? Your bloody Margot. Ask him if it's dog friendly. Hymns. For the funeral, have you got any recommendations? Michael said they played Nearer My God to Thee when the Titanic went down. Asked if that was the vibe we were going for, so if you've got any better suggestions, tiny, you can put them in a text and... Tiny. Tiny. Yeah? I thought we agreed you'd stop coming out here. Do you feel it? Like a carousel, days going round and round. It's a weird time. Time is weird, yeah. It was solid enough before, but now it's... Oh, my God. What? Solid into liquid into gas, that's what it's... Uh, it's dissolving. What is? Time. And maybe all the poison underground, uh, maybe this is what it does. Melting history. Maybe even melting me. I should run into the sea. You are not doing that! Wash it off me. Well, wash it you off. You can wash at the house. You said you were fetching your suit. Have you got it yet? I can't be fucking coming up here watching you wander up and down like a nut. I'm planning a funeral and I'm having to babysit you. Like the night of Apple Fizz. Because that's when we saw him coming out of the sea. If you are going to say... Marina? We are not back on that. We have both moved on. I know he's real, Mark. I need to work out why he didn't come for Dad. Make something up. Lie. Yeah, lie. Think of a reason. You're right. Tides were bad, he missed his slot. Or maybe it's because Dad was nothing to do with the sea. He drove a van. He didn't drive it into the bloody water, did he? Well, he still should have come. There has to be a reason why he wasn't there for the end. Maybe he just couldn't do it. Maybe he was scared. Maybe he didn't want to dig up all that pain. But it's buried now, or it will be tomorrow. He'll be laid to rest. But he won't be. You asked me before if Dad was restless. I never asked that. He's in a box. The most expensive box. And Ronnie will be bringing it around himself. I think seeing it will help you deal with this better. Seeing it. Because you're letting Dad haunt you. And that isn't right. I'm not blaming you or anything. You just don't know how to grieve. Now... Go get your suit. Are you sure you don't want me to buy you one? We can go to the outlet store first thing. I'll wear one of Dad's. I'll spend the night there too. All right. Good for you. We just need to get through this. Need to get through.
He didn't come no. to the funeral. No. He didn't come to his funeral. Dad's funeral. I had people out looking for you. Ronnie, Donnie, even Margot running around doggly in hand like a fucking lasso. <laughs> the priest had to delay the start by half an hour. Everyone shuffling around knowing something was wrong. And eventually I had to tell them to start. There's a baptism in a couple of hours, circle of life. Oh, don't worry. Tanya will be here. Don't worry, he'll slink in. So there is a crowd at the church hall now, talking, wondering, talking into chips, endless, endless chips. That's what I did for catering, by the way, which I paid way too much for. So you are going to get up there and you're going to eat some bastard chips. And then later, I'm going to ask why. I'm going to ask you to explain, even though I know there'll be no I was explanation, here. no real explanation can possibly like justify for the tides. I'm going to walk out of the wreck. But he always said we couldn't, said we shouldn't. I'm trying not to be angry, because I'm worried about you, I really am. I'm worried about you too. Have you been drinking something? Oh, taking something, drugs. What drugs would I take? I don't know, dad stuff lying around. His men. Well, have you? Why would I take his men? I don't know, because you're sick in the head. You don't even know what he was on. Don't do that. Just stay in the back. You have no right after you just left me a lot. It was hard enough coming back here seeing Dad. You never saw Dad? I've got my chance to say goodbye at least. That's what a funeral is. What a funeral does. I'll get that too. In the wreck of the ship. I know you don't really believe any of this. Why? Because you are not a kid anymore. You're a fully grown man. This was payback. Leave your brother high and dry like he left you. Well, it worked. Message received. I have never felt such shame, such... Go to the hall. Get the chips whilst they're hot. And you can thank people for coming. And you can say goodbye to me too, because I'm all checked out of the house. Or don't. We go our separate ways. But I am heading back to my father's funeral. So you buried him. Great job. If you take all the money away, what did you actually do? Did you dig the earth with your bare hands? Did your fingers bleed? Have you shaped the land in any way or have you just spat on it? Maybe you should have hauled them into the grave yourself and then you would have felt the fraction of the weight I have carried alone. Go on. Go. Oh. Nothing out here for you. The chips are all gone. Oh, went down a treat. None for you. I should have gone by now. That's trains in a bit. Stayed on for a drink too many though. <laughs> well, you got all the CA. Eh? Now this isn't working. I just don't have anything to say to you. I mean, you've said plenty. The tiny, that story of the fucking mariner. Why just start going on about that again? What was in it for you? He was a local man in your story, wasn't he? The sailor who wanted to get away from all this but was trapped by the currents of the coastline and he smashed back into the shore. That was just you, wasn't it? Is that why you're angry I got away? And you tell us to be careful of him? A figure on the beach, twisted from the wreck, shards of wood jutting out of him, weeds and nets dripping wet, sodden, sulfurous. You could paint a picture, I'll give you that. 
You know what? I wish a mushy corpse really had rocked up at your bedside full of poison from the sea. Then you'd have been as scared as we were. But of course he wasn't there. And neither was I. Tiny was. Tiny was. With you going, I thought he'd be, we'd be. Some gap between us would close, I don't know. So how have I just made it worse? He's out there, still on the beach probably, not that I care. I've lived him once before. I'm cruel enough to do it again. Is that another lie? I get that from you, Dad. I get the lying and the leaving. And Tiny. Tiny, maybe I leave him be. said there were rip currents and quicksand and that we should never even try, never try to leave the shore. But I just walked here on foot, not even wearing special wellies. Could have done it in your shoes. Uh, you, you even did it in your shoes. But this is it. This is the ship. The way he described it wasn't like this. Now that was a wreck. The ribs of the ship, a belly burst, a broken mass. A hole stuck full of magic and secrets and barrels full of souls, but this... I can barely trace the shape. I can't believe this. Neither can I. No, I mean, I can't believe you, the shack, of all the idiotic... I told the Coast Guard, but I've got no signal. Why? Why? Tiny, I'm going to have another panic attack. Oh, please, so. Come with me now. We can discuss this when we're on oh, land. You're on land. Safe on land. Land is not going to get swallowed up by the sea. Fuck! We must be miles from the shore! No, we're not miles. You, you realise that the tide could come back at any moment? No. What do you mean, no? That's what the tide does! I feel like it will tonight! This is like war number one of the sea! You don't do stupid things at low tide! <laughs> and we're out here in the rain! Oh, I can't feel anything out here! There's nothing! Maybe the free port book the sea so much it's gone into hiding. Washed away what's left of the ship. Washed it all away. I'm carrying you back. No, you're not. I will knock you up, not carry you. Would it carry me? Not these days. Honey, where's it all gone? You should have come to the funeral. You should have come to say goodbye. <laughs> I said goodbye. I've got to say it so many ways without saying it at all. When I took him away that morning, when I took a lock of his hair that night, when I held his hand and said a little prayer. The days before, weeks before, months before. The work was hard, it was tiring and devastating, and there were so many tears. And I know it was complicated, Mark, but I will treasure those moments. So yeah, I said goodbye, I just kept saying it. Look, I'm sorry. Is that what you need from me? But what? But I, I don't know, not noticing how badly you were dealing with stuff. But that's a lie. I did notice. So maybe I'm sorry for being, being hyper-fixated on organising a decent send-off. If you're going to say sorry, say for the right stuff. What then? How about sorry for not being there the night he died? You could say sorry too for all the other nights you missed, but that night, start with that night. It was hell, Mark. You said it was fine, you said it was calm. There was nothing calm about that night. The way he went, salt water in his veins like he was drowning on land. I was holding him. And he was retching and I was sobbing and sobbing and my salt water mixing with his. I was calling his name and weirdly I was calling yours. And then eventually, 
there was nothing. That's what it keeps coming back to. Nothing. I... You should have said... I did say. But I lied. You lie, Dad lies, the government lies, and I lie too. The poison got in all of us. Tiny, I... I can't do this now. You never can. No, I mean... I can't do this now, now. Oh, we need to go. We need to leave? Yes. No, you're the one who needs that, not me. Never me. Tiny, please. You know why I have to go. I don't. I really don't. You keep trying to remind me of the it. The night of Apple Faith. Yes. The night we saw the mariner. No. I need you to remember him, Ma. Back on the show. No. I'm not. Hold any barrel till you left then. You didn't want to be home that night. And Dad didn't mind, because he never seemed to mind. So we went out and some fresh air. See ya! And we went to get supplies. But I wasn't allowed to come into the shop, because I obviously wasn't old enough. You probably were, but I don't think you looked it. I was 17. You were 10. And you brought back... Oh, a big bottle of apple fizz. My first taste of alcohol. And then we went nuts on the beach. I ate loads of sweets. We kicked around an old football we found. We used the deck in this post. And I was giddy. So giddy. And you were too. And then you started to throw up everywhere, so you went into the dunes, and I probably needed to be sick too, but there was something about the waves that night. I don't know. Because then I was running into the water, running into the dark, and next thing I know, I'm on my back and you're leaning over me and you're shouting and I broke salty water. I broke apple fizz as well. You nearly drowned. And that's when we saw him. His feet in the water like roots. His head sprouting branches like he was carved out of driftwood. It could have been my time, Mark. He could have been there for me. But you stood up and faced him down and remember what you said. I didn't say anything, see anything. Get away from my brother. Get away from him now. And the mariner, he was such a size and weight. He turned, returned, walked back into the waves. You hooked me close and said we needed to stay together forever. It wasn't anybody else. I'd been screaming and screaming for help, hitting you over and over, banging on your bloody chest to try and make you breathe again. You do remember it then? I was meant to look after you that night, but I didn't. Even that night, I was just like Dad, just like him. But you didn't see the mariner. Never saw what I saw. How is that what you take from all this? It was magic. It has haunted me. That night, your body like a corpse. What if you died? What if you died? I should have asked for your forgiveness so many times, but instead I just ran. Ran as far away as possible. He still took me. Took me in the bed that night. Stole all the summer with me. You forget the good as well as the bad. Stay with me now. No, Tiny. We'll see the marinette together. Where? Tiny, where? He's not out here. But he has to be. Why? Because Dad that hasn't gone out. I told you he's here. He's restless. Tiny. And that's why I need the mariner to take him away. There's nothing for him to take. Yes, that book it is. You don't fucking understand. Uh...
I'm still carrying him. That's why you can't carry me. When dad passed on, I knew there'd be a weight lifted, but it's still here, squirming around, aching. If the mariner has to carry all the souls of the dead, I have no idea how he does it. I have no idea how he's that strong, because I don't know if this is that spirit or just a piece of it. Maybe it's no more than a fucking spell, but it is so heavy. And however much of him it is, I want it gone. I want him gone. Tiny, I don't think a dead man from the sea could take that away. Oh, oh, no. I mean, I don't think anyone can take that away. You have to carry him with you. When I left home, I had a fucking... Knapsack full of dad, full of you, full of everything. And if I can carry that, you can carry this. You're stronger than me, Tiny. You're not even tiny anymore, are you? You're a colossus. Marky, I missed you. I know. I've missed you too. I think they're getting really wet. Yeah. Mine are as well. All right. We're all right. We'll just start going home. Come on. This is definitely the right thing. No. I thought we might like to stride a bit further out. Uh, I've all turned around. We're going the right way. The lights are up ahead. I can't see them. Yes, you can. The cars and the street lights are one of those will be the Focus on that. It's rising really quickly. Focus on that. Breakfast when we get back. We'll have ended. Walking through this. It's a workout. Tiny. It's moving fast. Then we move faster. Pass me these. Pass mine too. Never like these shoes. Get yeah, deeper and deeper. Mark, we've got this. We've got this. We keep on going. I need a head back. No, you're so cute, don't. Tiny. You can't do this, Mark. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Forget about the water. No, I can taste it on the spear. Ah! Yeah. We're just strolling on the beach. Poison. It isn't. We're on the beach, Tiny. Oh, it's and it's windy. And it's tough. But we're doing it. We're getting there. We're looking for treasure. X marks the spot. It's over there. The light. Just head towards the light. <laughs> Bit wet, actually. <laughs> it's all right. We're all right. You don't. You didn't. Deep breaths. 
Breathe it in. Did you see him in the waves? Ew. He was there, tiny. The mariner. There was nothing. Nothing. <laughs> So, I'd gather all the driftwood, find the biggest bits I could, I'd send it all off to... Do you know a lady called Zoya? Don't think I do. I was doing some research, came across her online. She's an artist, trained at the college in town, but she lives in Whitley Bay now, but she does this kind of stuff, interior stuff. So I send the wood to her, and she makes it into things in her workshop. Things? You know, like stools and tables, decorations. And not only that, I got them to take me around the empty shop again. And there was this room at the back. I mean, they didn't do a very good job clearing it out, all this leftover junk. Not called junk. Yeah, yeah. Flotsam, jetsam. I learned what the other two are. Go on. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it's called, they said they chuck it in if I go through with the sale. Wow, what a pair. Yeah, but it's like weird fishing stuff. So I could fashion it into bits of the bar, the taps, the fixtures, the history of the place, smush into all the nooks and crannies. I thought you'd like that. Are you really going to go for it, then? I don't know. I don't know. I still need to find out. I need to get a loan. I'm checking that out now. Father Peter said he'd put in a good word with the big man. Using his influence. For the good of the parish. And I said to him, they all need a stiff drink after one of your homilies. Anyway, enough of me silly visions. Tell me your news. Well, there are bars here, too. Ooh, la, la. They actually said... I mean... I was drinking out of a coconut just now with a little parasol. I just thought that was a thing in cartoons. You'll have to send the empties over. I could use them as cups. And the beaches here, the beaches are really different. Uh, ours is better. Bullshit. No, it is. You'll have tropical white sands and bright blue seas and... I uh, step in something back there that just... Nah. More bad tides. Oh, they're sorting out the free port. Don't know if you heard. Are they really? Nah, I mean, an inquiry. Reports that the Tory mayor has been involved in corruption, cronyism. Sold all that steelwork sites to his mates off on the cheap, they say. I'm shocked, I tell you. Mm. Doesn't change the fact the sea's still full of shit and everything's dead already. Still? Fuck the Tories? Go on. Yeah, you're not wrong. Fuck the Tories. But are you really going to... I don't know, even if you don't open your pub... Stay? Yeah. I'm in no rush to figure it out. I really don't get why. I've told you why. It's not because of that one night. That kind of changed everything. Maybe it is. The night I was a fool. You weren't. I just wish you'd felt it. Only for a moment I felt that magic. Uh, but you felt that your whole life, that connection to a place, that history. What's your view right now? I see the headland and... The wind turbines and the factories and the dunes and the shops and the huts and... Oh, there's Margot's new dog running off and it's... It's all of it. At the very least, I'll stay in the house till it sells. Michael's here too. He's happy to work remote, which is... And the, may, the sale may take a while, so... Better not take too long. I need my hat to pay you back for all this. Oh, sorry, mate. You're breaking up. I said, I'm eating my... Oh, house. no, sorry, mate. Can't hear you. Thing. 
Thank God all this. Well, don't rush home. It's a big old world brimming with stories. Yeah. Yeah, and there's a version of this story where I don't come home, Mark. You think? I don't know. Maybe not like physically. I mean, mentally, spiritually, I'm always heading back. As a ghost? Maybe. Huh. Solid in the liquid in the gas. Sounds like you've had one too many liquids already. <laughs> but the coconuts taste so good. Good. It's all right, you know. Whatever you decide. Pastures new. Or you come back for the opening of me bar. Or... Neither of us do anything anywhere and we just drive around in Dad's van or something. Because whatever happens, we make a plan to meet halfway, proper halfway this time. And until then? We keep in touch. I sign my texts with love. And X marks the spot. <laughs>